resurrection and the life, says the Lord, those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. We meet in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you. And also with you. acknowledge our fragility. We call to mind our sins of thought, word and deed and confess them before God our Father. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God our Father forgive us our sins and bring us to the eternal joy of his kingdom, where dust and ashes are no more. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, for the love she received from you and showed among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that in due time we may share with your servant Elizabeth that clearer vision promised to us in the same Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, 
A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. sent me, says the Lord, that I should lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. And this is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life and I will raise them up on the last day. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Our late Queen was anointed, like in the Bible, where prophets, priests and kings were anointed. Our Queen was anointed. This was a holy moment in the coronation service and it was so holy that although there were television cameras there, 
they did not show her anointing because of the holiness and the intimacy, that special moment between her and God. So people with particular vocations are anointed and our Queen had that great sense of vocation. The driving sense of her life was that of service and leadership. As a child, she never expected to be Queen and almost certainly never wanted to be Queen. So this role was all about duty. When we think of her role, the continuous intrusion, the scrutiny, the social isolation, the need to put aside her own interests in the interests of others. It is profoundly Christ-like. But was it only duty or did she feel close to Christ in fulfilling her vocation? It seems to me from her Christmas broadcasts that in following Christ and being about Christ's business, it drew her close to Christ. The Queen proclaimed the gospel every year on Christmas Day and she invited us to participate in it. She is a great example of an evangelist, a good evangelist. There was no moralism. Instead, she said the words, I have found which are known to be the most three most powerful words in evangelism. Her 21st birthday speech was remarkable. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. The word imperial now jars. We only use it to talk about imperial weights and measures. But for me, it reminds me that success is not about power. It's about how we respond to the challenges. She had an empire at the beginning of her reign and it diminished and diminished, but she didn't. The respect for her just increased over time. She is a great example to us, but of course, her role is not the role for everyone. It was her particular calling, her role. She said yes to God wholeheartedly, just like the Virgin Mary said yes to God wholeheartedly. And perhaps that should act as a warning to us. It is an awesome thing to say yes to God. Awesome in the old sense of the word. It engenders awe. Saying yes wholeheartedly to God also means that God can genuinely change the world. The Queen said in 2014, Christ's example helps me to see the value of doing the small things with great love. And so whatever our vocation, let us follow her example and in our lives adopt this principle. Amen. Let us profess our faith in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We, we believe, believe and trust, trust in one God, Father, Father Son and, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for all that you have given us in and through the life of your servant Queen Elizabeth. We give you thanks for her love of family and her gift of friendship, for her devotion to this nation and the nations of the Commonwealth, for her grace, dignity and courtesy, and for her generosity and love of life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We praise you for the courage that she showed in testing times, the depth and breadth of her Christian faith, and the witness she bore to it in word and deed. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray for our Sovereign Lord the King and all the Royal Family, that you might reassure them of your continuing love and lift them from the depths of grief into the peace and light of your presence. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God, God of, of mercy, mercy entrusting into, into your hands all that you have made, and rejoicing in our communion with all your faithful people, we make our prayers through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace of the risen Lord be always with you. And also with you. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our the Father in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow human beings, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord, Lord God, God, our Creator, we, we pledge, pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name, guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. May the goodness of God surround you, the light of the risen Christ shine before you, and the joy of the Spirit be within you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.